I'm going to be going over a free armor set that can rival Necron armor in the new alpha update, and it is 100% free to get, and it can beat Necron armor in most stat comparisons. If you guys know today's video, subscribe to the channel to me. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So in the alpha server, there is a bunch of new armor sets. There's a bunch of new everything. It's an absolutely massive update. So at the point, there's a lot of new things. And Necron armor is no longer the best. There is armor that can out damage it. But there's also armor, armor that cannot damage it for free, which is honestly pretty crazy. Now, in order to get this free armor set, you're going to need to do a few things, including kill the Magma Boss. Magma Boss is underneath the volcano. The full tunnel down, you'll see him. He has a bunch of different faces. He can be kind of annoying. I recommend you do him with other people. Otherwise, it kind of sucks. Once you beat the Magma Boss, every single time, no matter how much damage you get, you're going to get a rekindled Ember Fragment. And a corrupted ooze. Both of these are super super useful, but I'm gonna be going over the weakened umber fragments. This can be used to craft a useless blaze rod, a scourge cloak that is insanely bugged right now, otherwise it would be broken, and a um, ember armor. Basically the new ember armor, except they put rekindled in front of it. Because you know, I don't know why. They decided, hey, let's do that. But each piece of rekindled umber armor has something unique. First it has a tiered arm armor bonus of rekindle. Currently, however, this is bugged. It says, increase all your outgoing burning damage by 200%. For each second you are on fire, occasionally, additionally increase all the burning damage by 1.2%, up to 50%. The more pieces you have on, the higher it scales, right? The issue is, this doesn't actually work with any burning damage. It's the exact same damage with any burning armor that would deal burning damage. It's the exact same thing. Stats with Fierce and Recommed is 40 strength, 6 crit damage, 38 crit damage, 250 health, 65 defense, 15 intelligence, and it has, when you craft it, two of the new, like, attribute shards, whatever it is. So this one gives me um, more damage in defense, and I'm under 20%. So I deal 2.5% more damage. So you're probably looking at these stats right now, and we're going to compare. So 40, 56. As we can see, it looks like Necronarm is absolutely crapping. I can read through all the stats, but Necronarm is obviously better. However, there's one thing we've forgotten to account for, and that's pets. First thing, when I'm doing the comparison for this armor, I'm going to be taking out the um, yellow numbers. So that is gained from hot potato books and fuming potato books, because I cannot put them on the Ember Helmet without costing around 1.2 billion coins, which is absolutely not worth it, and I'm broke, so I spent all my money. So we'll just take that out, which means that the Necron Helmet would have around 290, 280 health, because it also has growth 6 prot 6. Defense would be around 120 as well. So we're going to go off 280 and 120. This is if they had growth 5, prod 5. With the stats, even still, Necron Arm is clapping. But there's this unique pet called Magma Cube Pet. This pet is actually going to be pretty viable in the new update for two reasons. The Salt Blade deals 25% more damage to slimes. This is actually pretty good in the new Nether update because this counts for like the Magma Cubes, this counts for the Magma Boss. There's a lot of slime minions, or sl slime mobs, in the new update, so doing 25% damage towards them is actually super, super nice. But also buffs the Ember Armor, or the Rekindled Ember Armor, by 50%. This means if we do staff to stack comparison with the 50% buff, the strength with the 50% buff is going to be 60 strength, which is better than Necron by slightly, but it is still better. Crit Chance is going to be slightly better by plus 1, Crit damage is going to be almost the exact same. Health is going to be a whopping 375, which destroys Necron armor. Even with this extra buffs, it still destroys. This is supposed to have 280. This is 375, so 100 extra health. That's a pretty big difference. Defense gets buffed up to around 95, so it's slightly worse than Necron for defense. So they have around the same EHP. And intelligence, they're... It's slightly worse, but they're around the same. Now, if the armor tier bonus would work, then that would become so, so, so incredibly useful. Because if burning damage actually worked how it was supposed to, burning damage would be absolutely nutty. You can get like 4 million damage DPS a second from using free items. But it doesn't really work, so we can't really include that. But if it does, it'll be even better. So stat for stat buff, Ember Armor, the helmet-wise, is on par if not better than necron helmet however there's a few things reason why i'm putting them at even this cannot be starred this does have the 10 percent star buff which is super nice but this cannot be start meaning it's not really useful inside dungeons 
I don't know why anyone would run Ember Armor inside of dungeons. This is very useful in the Nether update, but it's not really useful inside of dungeons. So that's why I'm putting it on equal level with Necron Armor. You can disagree with me if you wish to, but they have around the same stats. Although, a lot of stuff is currently bugged with the Alpha server, as it should be a lot of stuff <laughs> just going wrong. They're testing it out. But once it all gets fixed, Ember Armor with a tier buff will be so, so nice. And will help you do an insane amount of damage. Either way, it's kind of interesting how Ember Armor can actually beat Necron and DPS and Armor and all that cool stuff. If you guys want to this video, subscribe. It would truly mean the world to me. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.